Philippians 3.10 That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. So brother Paul now says that I may know him. What did he mean? That I may know him. This is 30 years after the man has preached. 30 years after he has preached. He's saying that I may know him. So the question you have in your mind is, is this a continual everlasting knowing? Because if it's a continual everlasting knowing, then we are in trouble. Because that will mean that everything written in the epistles is not conclusive. If it's an open-ended knowing, it means we are not sure of what was written in the epistles because if 30 years after you have written and communicated the truth of Christ on an authoritative manner and now you are saying you want to know, then it means we can't rely on what you knew because for all we know, what you knew may change. So we want to find out what Paul meant but that, that I may know him. So was he still knowing God? If Paul was still knowing God, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. In fact, it doesn't add up. <laughs> because if he was still knowing God, we cannot call his letters epignosis. We cannot call his letters epignosis. Because epi, E-P-I, is always complete. Epignosis, epignosis. Epigenosco or epignosis complete. There's nothing more to know after that. So if he's still praying to know him in First Corinthians, you know, chapter 13, he is saying, I know in part, I prophesied in part. Wow. You know, Dr. Damina, don't be speaking on a note of finality. We know in part. You don't know it all. No man is an island of knowledge. So always be flexible. Do not use absolutes when you teach. Use probables. Because for all we know, anything can change. Somebody said, Dr. Damina, why I don't like this? Because you speak with a finality. Your words are too absolute. So I said to him, the Bible is an absolute book. So I said questions. For example, did Jesus die? Answer me, power city. Did Jesus die? What's that? Was he buried? What's that? Did he rise on the third day? What is that? If you believe the gospel, are you born again or are you being born again? What is that? The main fulcrum of the gospel is an absolute message. So why is Paul saying we know in part? We prophesy in part. Even Paul said that I may know him. 30 years after ministry. But remember brother Paul says when, when you read you may understand my knowledge. There is a knowledge I have in the mystery of Christ. So when Paul said, I know in part, I prophesied in part, then he now said, now that I am a man, I give up childish ways. I give up childish ways. So when he says, to know in part, he was talking about his past. He wasn't talking about the present time when he was speaking. When I was growing up, I knew in part. But now I am fully grown. I no more know in part. I know the whole. I give up childish ways. When I was a child, I speak like a child. I knew like a child. Now I'm fully grown in the knowledge of Christ. I no more think like that. Meaning, I have arrived at accurate, precise understanding of God. 
Listen carefully. Christianity is the epignosis of God. Christianity is the epignosis of God. Accurate knowledge of God. And the epignosis of God in Christianity are in the Pauline letters. The epignosis of God in Christianity are in the Pauline letters. And in the letters of the other apostles. The epignosis of God in Christianity are in the Pauline letters and in the other letters of the apostles. 